here's the boat it's probably been in the water well my mom swears it's less than a dozen times and um, I've probably been out in it half of those electric tilt and trim it'll need a battery I don't believe it's been in the water since 2005 it just sat covered behind my mom's townhouse it's a, I think it's an 18 foot Bayliner Capri walk through bow Ron's the original owner and um, we just cleaned it up and kind of detailed it here so we could sell it because it's been sitting in my warehouse just collecting dust and not running it'll need a battery and it'll you know the motor will be gunked up from having sat for so long that closes like this and then you've got your windshield there and it's got an electric bilge pump stereo these chairs here all lay down there's ski storage underneath there those are little cup holders little black things on the side there um, that it's got the little ski thing mounted and we put we put the lights on just because they were in here and we thought it'd be good to show and that's just a glove box it's got a drain if it gets water in it it'll drain outside and there's a there's little pieces of metal that's just a couple of plugs which are out so it'll drain that's a stereo and there close that guy up but it's real clean it's uh, for somebody who can do the work on it and uh, you know get the motor I'm sure it won't run after sitting up since 2005 somebody's gonna have to sea foam it and all this kind of stuff the only thing it ever had wrong with it um, it used to after we ran for quite a long time it would it would go beep the engine would make that sound and it would shut off like it was overheating and you know just needed to cool off so uh, Ron took it into Barber or Phil Dill wherever he bought it probably says so on here somewhere Barber boats yeah right there and they messed with it and I don't think it actually fixed it maybe it's it never seemed to shoot a lot of water out of these holes like the impeller was maybe kind of clogged but you can look at this stainless steel prop that's like a $600 option right there there are no marks on this prop that's because the boat has just hardly ever been used if you've seen uh, boats that have been used a lot you know their props get kind of beat up this one is not it is really immaculate it's a gas and um, I think it's it's two cycle yeah yeah it's two cycle gas so you mix the oil and gas and let's see what else is on here it's also got a bimini top or bimini top however they say that the, the top that goes up over there I'm gonna wash that up and stick it on maybe and shoot another picture here's the worst thing on it's this trailer wheel right here looks like it got water under the paint and the wheel rusted but um, anyway it just sat out behind my mom's house for a couple of years or several years with without uh, you know anything over that wheel so it's been in my warehouse now for a few years but it's pretty much immaculate it was covered sitting out behind mom so you can see the last time it was in the water was before June 30th 2005 which is when that sticker expired trailers in real good shape and that wheel you could spray paint it or something like that and it'd be fine or you could just go to northern uh, hydraulic and buy a new one they're pretty cheap there's a view from the front oh I didn't look at the motor the, the uh, and the other wheel is actually in real nice shape so there's the other wheel for some reason it never did that I need to air them up the tires are a little low the tires have been on it obviously for years and years I drove it over here after airing them up from my mom's house and they they seem to hold air but I might buy new ones if I was going to be using it a lot motor real clean it's 120 horsepower uh, mercury force you can see the electric tilt and trim that's the cylinder there and that, that works really well I remember taking it out and enjoyed it we enjoyed it a lot it's still uh, the trailers tagged until February 15 Ron renewed the tags every year it's got the fiberglass fenders on the wheel so that's kind of nice keeps the boat clean when you hose it out I think that's basically it and there's little Travis my boat washing helper riding around back there so there you have it it's a pretty day kind of overcast out here thought it'd be a good day to pull the boat out of the warehouse since we got it all cleaned up and shoot some video let me hop up on the back of my truck here and you can kind of get a look at the lines of the boat it's a real pretty boat
Oh, pardon my uh, nauseating camera work. There we go. Back in the warehouse she goes. So, um, toe's real easy. It's not real heavy. But there you have it. You can be driving this boat. It's fun. Wish I had time and stuff to mess with it, but we thought we would when Ron bought it, and we just never did. There you